my name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We're going to be playing as the warrior, going into the third episode. Whoa, this is exhausting. Turns out you can get too much exercise. But hey, fighting monsters is still fun. Worse than a curse, you seem pretty tough. Do you really need all that health? Nah, you'll be fine without it. Uh, you start with a Venus flytrap and you lose 2 max HP when you level up. Thanks for joining us in another round of Dicey Dungeons. Tonight, let's give a big round of cruelly mocking laughter for our miserable contestant. Oh. I didn't know if you were going to follow up with the full rest of the introduction. All right, let's have a look at the equipment. So we have the Venus Flytrap. Deal damage on a 6, restore to HP. And we lose 2 max HP anytime we level up. Ugh. Good thing we have the reloads, though. So for a while, this is effectively just going to be re-roll the lowest dice that I have available. Hope that I hit a six eventually. Rinse, repeat. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, the enemy is going to get the last laugh, yeah, as they take the 10 damage on me directly before the ends. Fool, all you've done is charged my fury, which I will still refuse to use for a very long period of time. Shovel. Oh, okay. Okay. We're starting to get the ability to do different types of elemental damage, as well as different types of elemental effects based on the sixes that we can generate. So something like a Midnight Charm that generates two sixes would be really useful for us. Ouch. That's a really disappointing turn. Have to imagine my opponent probably thinks so as well. Lovely. Shouldn't have re-rolled the four, by the way. I already had lethal. Maximum health is reduced by two there. Oh, okay. So it's not even your maximum health is increased by the normal amount and then reduced by two. It's just reduced by two from the starting amount every level. So we are going to need the ability to shield ourselves. And we're gonna need a lot of interference on our opponents. So things like shock seem pretty important for us. Marshmallow, ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna double weaken you. Perfect. And not mess around when I have the kill. I should have actually re-rolled that two a bunch of times though, because I could have possibly stolen two HP at the end of that fight. Mm. Come on in. Yolanda's got some amazing products in stock today. Yolanda's also speaking in third person again. Oops. Uh, we got the buckler there for adding to our shield, which is something that I did want access to. There's a bump before it. Is the buckler a half? Yeah, buckler is a half. I'll take it. If it's a half, then I can actually fit it in my current slots. And that's good enough for the moment. Take the 4 HP or go for the enemy. Uh, I go for the enemy, heal off of this combat, go for that alchemist, then take the 4 HP and leave. I feel like I'm starting to get the sequencing down of each of these floors. Starting to have a decent understanding. Oh my god, perfect. Actually, I should have re-rolled... No, wait, should I have re-rolled that? Hmm. Because if I bump a six, I actually get a one back. I could have had Buckler active. But I guess it doesn't matter to have Buckler active this turn. Yeah, because the enemy is doing so little damage. Uh, but also because you know, this enemy is not really a threat. And we're healing up after the combat anyway. <clears throat> so Fury at the start of the next combat happily. Beautiful. There's the Midnight Charm. I'm doing it. Midnight Charm should go over bump, though. 
Bump and Buckler are both countdowns. So maybe we're looking at a crowbar build as well. It's entirely possible. Fine, we'll just get those sixes, and then we're probably not going to be using Buckler this turn, I guess. Uh, I'll double weaken the enemy. And set Buckler to only needing a single die to activate. I guess I kind of got to limit what they had access to, at least. And I even get to hold on to my Fury. I had a really good potion coming up. What a waste. Let's take the HP and bounce. Uh, although, is there anything now in here that's super exciting to me? Claw, Blight, no. If there was a better source of poison, maybe I would want Blight because I do have the ability to generate a large amount of quite high value dice really easily. But not without a good way to get the enemy poisoned. Sorry, bud. There's an equipment upgrade. I could go for a key master first. I'm five away from a level up. So after fighting this key master and the baby squid, I'll have access to this shop as well as the upgrade. I have nothing that I naturally want to upgrade right now, except for the midnight charm. But even then, I only have, you know, mainly two things to slot my dice into afterwards, the Venus flytrap and the shovel. So getting more dice right now doesn't actually benefit me. Upgrading Midnight Charm to be more efficient in terms of the amount of dice it takes to the amount of dice it gives doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Upgrading the Buckler so that I can probably cast it with only a single dice seems useful, though. That also seems like that's really healthy. And the Buckler seems essential. Fine, I'm going to fight the Baby Squid, get the upgrade on the Buckler first, because I think, I think that's always something that I'm going to have to do here. Shame to be just short. Mm, beautiful double weaken right there. I have no HP to steal, so I can just go straight for the kill. Upgrade that buckler. Yeah, only costs five to activate. Uh, shovel on even on... Six, restore health. Okay, so this restores more health on six. That said, I probably don't want to have the possibility of even taking that damage. Yeah. I want to upgrade Buckler. I want to upgrade Venus Flytrap. I think I end up keeping both of those in the build. The Shovel, the fact that it doesn't upgrade to be half size and it only manages to do a maximum of six damage in a single turn. Like, look at my build right now. I have a maximum of 12 damage in a single turn. Not great. Uh, that Shovel probably gets replaced with more offensive things later, but we upgrade the Bucklers for certain. <clears throat> Keymaster could end up being a pretty bad fight for us, so... I'm a little hesitant to take it, but I have to take it eventually. <clears throat> ah! <clears throat> Such poor rolls. So we don't even have access to Midnight Charm, so we can't do Shovel or Venus Flytrap's extra effect. Oh, the longer this fight goes on, the more damage the enemy is going to be doing. But at the very least, we have shield there. Fine. Yeah, damn it. Really wanted that to roll higher. Uh, okay, I have nothing to heal. So I'll get my shield, do four damage, and weaken. Weaken number two. Stuff is going to start getting kind of sad soon. Oh, 
hopefully oh beautiful so that's a two means the enemy doesn't get to unlock another keyblade and deal another three damage this turn which they would have access to for every turn after that as well so it just compounds and gets much worse five and a five and heck that's even enough for us in fact we even leave the fight on full hp i think the shield was definitely the right decision uh, the buckler, rather. Iron shield. It's also target shield. Add certain amounts of shield reusable. Interesting. That could just be add six shield in a turn, though. I think I buy iron shield. Uh, it's also worth noting that later on, we could find something that just says, you know, uh, what would be a good example? We could find something later that just says, deal your amount of shield in damage to the enemy. We've seen those before, shield bash and the like. And having iron shield and buckler, and then midnight charm and whatever the shield to damage translation card or piece of equipment manages to be. Uh, seems like that would be a really, really valuable build for this run. I think we're holding the Iron Shield, though, right? We don't really need to actually be playing it yet. Haunted Jar does poison. Mm, takes a while to get ramped up, though, so I think we'll be okay. I'm just looking for only two dice. Yeah, beautiful. Only two dice to be needed in order to activate Midnight Charm. It's not difficult for my deck to currently activate everything that it has. It needs Midnight Charm in order to make sure that it hits sixes so that it gets the effect out of the other things. And Buckler is its only defense. Yeah, so it doesn't really have, or rather this build, doesn't really have the ability to be something else instead. Is there a better way of express, uh, expressing that thought? Oh my god. Gonna set that midnight charm easier to access next turn. This this build can't do more in a single turn. I think is what I'm trying to say. There we go. It's surprisingly survivable. I think I've been underestimating shields. I think I really have. Blight. Okay, so that's the second time we've seen Blight. If we had two Blights and then Midnight Charm and I could I could see a build that just gradually increases poison with a single card, has two Blights and a Midnight Charm and eventually just one turn quadruples the enemy's poison, insta-kills them. It's just a catalyst build. Okay, there's a Super Wizard right there. But if I fight Crystalina first, I get loot. <clears throat> Crystalina's also not that bad. Hmm. Crystalina is probably hitting me this turn. Fine. Again, it's really easy for me to get all of my things played out in a single turn, so I don't have to worry about optimizing for the next turn as much. Wow, you're really gonna... Oh, you're just getting ready to unlock that later. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Battle two. Come on, shield bash. It's entirely possible we find the shield bash in the chest after here. Likely? No, no, it's not likely. It's possible, though. That's enough for me. Especially the shot this floor, I think, is a upgrade. So if I don't get it here, I just 
don't get it for a really long period of time. Keep rerolling the low ones. Wow, we don't even have access to Midnight Charm. Fury to double the next action. I don't even have access to doubling the next action. <clears throat> That'll have to do. Unfortunately, the enemy has access to their full suite of abilities right now. That'll work. And even managed to get the buckler at the very end there. That was a bit of a greedy play though. Ooh, not being able to use ice crystal and air crystal being kind of poor. Sets the stage for me to just try and find a six to put in the Venus flytrap. I can actually make a little bit of healing out of the end of the fight. Lovely. Two more combats to get. Yeah, so both of these combats level up. Uh, Battle Axe do 2x damage. See, the thing is, because that's maximum 4 and I force myself to have 6s as a result of Midnight Charm, that's not that great for us. So is it time to get rid of Midnight Charm? I think we're only rolling four dice right now. I don't think it's time to get mid rid of Midnight Charm yet. All right, Super Wizard. <clears throat> so let's have a look at your super stuff. What is making you a Super Wizard? Because I'm looking at all of your abilities and they don't look different to me. I'm gonna go for the doubling on the weakness. Oh, right, the Super Wizard starts with two dice rather than just a single dice. That's the big difference here. Damn it. Didn't manage to weaken any of the things the enemy was actually triggering that turn. That's unfortunate. One week it off. And hey, it means the teleport spell has no effect, so the enemy doesn't get dodge. Worthwhile. You've managed to finish off with a heal. <clears throat> so, do we get any extra loot for those combats? No. That's a strong no right there. We do heal after this one, though, so we'll heal before it as well. No, man, I have access to no fire in this. But... So the enemy has four dice... Uh, four dice and four that all require odds. So making the enemy weak isn't that impactful. They'll just activate one of the pieces of equipment that isn't weakened. I guess I could double buckler, but I don't think that's important either. Oh no, it seems like double buckler might have been important. Yeah, I'm gonna double buckler this next turn. Funny that. It's suddenly become a priority of mine. for not rolling any more odds on that high end because I really could no take no more. All right then. Don't you manage to kill me. That's not going to do it. Beautiful. 
So the next piece of upgrade for this build would be what? Midnight Charm? No, that's just for getting extra dice and don't use them. Shield Bash! Needs doubles. Bash with shield. Do damage. Beautiful. Uh, let's get rid of... I think being able to heal so that I can deal with the fact that I'm... Oh, no, but Iron Shield should go in the build as well. Maybe I get rid of Venus Flytrap and it's just like... Midnight Charm, Shield Bash, Buckler, Iron Shield. The whole thing is just get as big an Iron Shield as possible, as early as possible, and then Shield Bash. That kind of seems like strats to me, though. Blight for a whip. Yeah, I'll trade. Because I might find another snowman next floor and want to use the burn against them, I guess. Uh, okay, going for that equipment upgrade. So bump would be usable twice. Midnight charm would be extra. Uh, iron shield being upgraded, especially if that halves the size of it, would be really good. Shield Bash being upgraded, I think, just means it only takes one, and that one is even. But it's easy for me to activate Shield Bash because I have the Midnight Charm. So I don't think I have to worry about upgrading Shield Bash. Hands up, you codgers. I'm a cow doy. Four, four, and three is enough already. Oh, actually, I, I plus one, right? Plus one. Both of those go in here. Go with two sixes. That was all wrong. I'm sure there was a better way to do that. Ah, so the enemy is using the six-shooter strat. So they're actually going to be able to deal damage to you this turn. That's really annoying. Get rid of all of my shield. So they can do 12 a turn pretty easily, but I do 10 and defend for 10 in a turn. Unfortunately, their slow attrition is still scary. I'm kind of hoping they roll a little worse. They're activating Midnight Charm every single turn. That's not extraordinarily likely. With their three dice, that is, in particular. So I can use this bump in order to end up with a pair, right? The bump being able to give me pairs out of nowhere is actually super useful here as well. Oh God, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna have to save the Fiori for the start of the next combat because this is getting really, really dicey. Dungeons. Okay. Oh my god! Stop rolling always the highest numbers of all time! I've never even seen higher numbers than that! Wait, is that gonna already have lethal? No need to mess around there. And we're so far from leveling up. Oh, that hurt a lot. I'm gonna take my three HP, try and fight this Kraken. Kraken has the ability to start overwhelming, but after it, I get so much stronger that I think I'll be able to like, Loud Bird. Loud Bird is a problem because we only have one single attack here right now. So if the Loud Bird dodges, congratulations, we do no damage this turn.
I think the most important thing I can do this turn is double up on iron shields. Right. Oh, what? Actually, hang on, is that that bad? Yeah, I got the curse. I get hit with two overwhelms and camouflage. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like, <laughs> adds pretty, pretty damn poor. Curse is a bit of a problem as well here, though. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I knew that's where Curse was going to trigger. I should have just put one on there and one on Buckler and then waited for the next turn. But, yeah, as, as I was about to say, who's to say I wouldn't be cursed on the next turn as well? Swine still actually managed to get a hit out there. That's uh, better than the average turn for us. Ooh, two triggers above a wall, but that's no uh, no deep sea hell right there. Perfect. <laughs> uh, okay. Shame to miss out on shields, especially when the enemy has overwhelm, but are they gonna double overwhelm in this turn as well? Oh no, only a single overwhelm. Good. Unfortunately, they get the litany of full effects off on me. shield as well. Damn it! Curse on the buckler. That's really annoying. Yeah, and that's uh, that's three overwhelms you have access to this turn. That's all it took. That's really, really frustrating. Okay, so... In those fights, I have to start thinking about the fact that the curse and blindness are much more limiting for decks that require the investment of multiple die, so multiple dice, into themselves. That is to say, things that have countdown, right? Because if I have to invest a five, a four, and a one, and then the a piece of equipment is cursed, that's a real problem for us. So I was trying to mitigate that by using bump at the start of each of the turns, but unfortunately bump kept working, which meant that it just passed the curse down the line to the things that I thought were more effective to defend. Uh, I think that shield bashing on the second last turn was still correct, because I think pivoting to damage is important when the enemy is overwhelming and getting larger and larger over time. Just unfortunate. Uh, I think given the ability to go back, the only thing that I would change is I think I would change my out my loadout and go try and fight the dead bird first, or rather the loud bird first. Uh well. For the moment, my name is Ben Rapsony. The name of the game has been Dicey Dungeons. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.